Today's video is brought to you in part by Ladybug Paper Company. Check out their full line of products at www.ladybugpaperco.ca. So today we are at Caribou Monroe Island uh, Provincial Park and we're going to be doing the one and only hiking trail that we have that they have here in the park and it should be a nice um, oceanside beachside trail. So we've just parked in the uh, picnic area and now we're going to try and find the trailhead from here. After you leave the parking lot, you can find the trail off to the left along the tree line. You have to take a series of steps to bring you down beachside, but man, is it worth it. There isn't much information online about the trail here at Caribou Monroe's Island Provincial Park. We ended up finding the trail marked on Google Maps, but couldn't find it on any of our hiking apps. The trail is a simple walk down the beach. There are no posted signs or paths for you to follow. Instead, you get a leisurely stroll watching the surf, seaweed, and wildlife. So one of the most interesting parts about this area of Nova Scotia is its water temperatures. So typically, all around Canada, even, you know, most of the United States, the water is relatively cold. Here, however, it is actually quite warm. So this water here is the warmest water north of the Carolinas. So it is an abnormality here that we have in Nova Scotia and it's fantastic. It makes for some great swimming here in the summer months. So Akane's way ahead of me today because I think that she's mad at me because I gave her a hard time about reading the map. But that's okay, it's my own fault. I made her mad about something very simple and now I'm paying for it. So in this area, there's actually two ferries. One will take you in behind me there to Picto Island, and then the other takes you to a different Canadian province called Prince Edward Island, or PEI. We tried timing our walk in accordance with the ferries here. We thought it would be a great opportunity to see the ferries sail by as we anticipated our next trip to Newfoundland, Canada, where we embark the journey with a seven-hour ferry ride from Nova Scotia. At a point now in our hike where she's so far ahead, I can't even see her. But yeah, you can see the tide's going out. It's not as um, noticeable as some of the other places here in Nova Scotia, because if you aren't aware, we do have the highest tides in the world here in Nova Scotia. And uh, it's something that's really interesting to see, especially if you are not... Well, actually, it may be more interesting if you are from a place where you have a coastal, if you're from the coast, a coastal area, but you don't have the huge dips between high and low tide, coming here may be relatively interesting for you. All right, so I finally caught up to Akane. It felt like about an hour later. Um, she started to turn around once it got really rocky like that. So I decided I'm just gonna turn around as well. So I just wanted to say, I hope you all enjoyed this small video of the um, beach walk here at Caribou Monroe Island uh, Provincial Park. Uh, if you like the video, just let me know, hit that thumbs up. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I want to say welcome and I hope you subscribe. And then of course, I'm just gonna challenge you to share this uh, on your Facebook today. It doesn't matter who you reach out to, but maybe just share this on your main page and hope that at least one other person will enjoy this hike as well. All right, hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.